Hey guys, this is my 10th video here. In this video, I'll tell you about the procedure of flashing the 1.4.1 White Rabbit Edition ROM by Tweety Beauty username at XDA. Uh, it is a very good ROM, uh, very fast, having a good battery life. Uh, in this demonstration, I'll uh, flash the Defy Plus version of having the one which has the gingerbread kernel. There are basically two ways to do this. One is via ROM manager, pretty automated one. Second is via the clockwork mod recovery. I'll choose the second one. So here it is. For the demonstration, I have VirgQ as my stock ROM. So simple, just press the power button, reboot, reboot into recovery. Since it's a gingerbread kernel based, so you need to flash a gingerbread kernel also if you're coming from Froyo. The main USB of this ROM is the Aroma installer. Pretty awesome installer, very refreshing. You can actually customize and tweak whatever you want, what you don't want in your ROM. Uh, other than that being, it is a perfect fusion of new UI and uh, CyanogenMod. mod. So here it is a boot menu, same. Wipe data, recovery. The normal procedure followed to flash a new ROM. If you don't know, I have a video of it. Uh, do view it. Same formatting data and cache. Done. Second part is wiping the cache partition. There you go. Since I am currently on Freo kernel and uh, White Rabbit uses Gingerbread kernel for the demonstration which I am using, uh, we will need to flash the kernel first and then the ROM because in the initialization of the ROM, it has asked us about the kernel that we have. So we will do that first. I will just show you how to do it. Here it is. So now the step, flash the kernel first, if you are doing the Defy Plus version, same, choose zip, navigate to where you actually have stored the kernel, I have it here, this is 9, CM9 kernel zip, here and say yes, signed, 1, 2, 3, go, it is done. So now the main part, flashing the ROM, same procedure, navigate where you have it, white rabbit Defy Plus edition and say yes. Now you'll witness the Aroma installer in action. Very refreshing installer. Very awesome. Main USB being customization of the ROM. So it is multi language. Uh, second option is English. Same asking which kernel do you have. I just passed the gingerbread one. So here's 2.3.6. Same next. There's a change log. And there are three options. For the standard MIUI style, ICS style. And third is custom install. First two you won't be able to actually customize much as compared to the third one. In this you will customize every single thing that you want in a ROM. You will see all the options full wipe, you want Google Apps or not, boot animation, ICS or the standard CM7, whatever you want. Again GPS configuration, Wi-Fi drivers, speed ride support, this is new in the 1.4 edition. Beats audio in the Android market, that is the Play Store or the Android Froyo market. Same, uh, the next awesome thing is the V6 supercharger tweaks. You can actually do it all while installing the RAM. Uh, sorry, ROM. Uh, I'll use the balance and the nitro lag clarifier. Here it is. Again, same options Go launcher or AWD launcher, MIUI music, MIUI camera, MIUI locker, which theme you want, EX dialer, every single thing you can customize. Here it is the Motorola phone uh, clock, music, phone portal. V suit boiler dela ROM toolbox every single thing and here it is the browser email client gallery G talk calendar anything that you want you don't want simply untick it you want simply take it simple next and this is the last step this is next will actually flash the ROM now it's completely automated you can see exact percentage of how much is done how much is left you can see what is being done what is left so here it is. After the flashing is done, it will ask you to reboot. You just press reboot and it will automatically go into the ROM. 
I'll just leave the phone here. Here it is, 74% already done. If you want to skip the flashing procedure, I have the time in my comment. You can click that and again uh, straight away go ahead to the end. Same, it's following the extra app that I chose. Formation fix and final unwinding of the data and the SD card. Done. Press next. See this. You boot second boot. Press OK and the last step, say next. It will automatically reboot and straight away go into the new ROM that you have flashed. Very awesome, very easy, very refreshing installer. The same M logo. I should be getting the ICS boot animation because I chose that. So let's wait and watch. It's the first boot, so it will always take a lot of time. Be patient about that. And here it is the ICS boot animation, as I had told. If you had chosen the CM7 animation, you have got that. As I said, complete customization. So here it is, about to boot now. Done. So this was it. And this is the AWD launcher. So this is the White Rabbit edition very fast awesome rom uh, you'll probably need to reboot okay not to get it was here so this was the demonstration of uh, flashing the white rabbit having aroma installer uh, so that was it i hope you like this video uh, i have a forum at xda as well as the facebook page do like and comment here in case you have any doubt so that was it thank you very much